Trans Gemini? It's trans, right? That's me. You obviously have quite a gift with plants. Oh, it's not so hard. All living things have the same basic needs. That is exactly the kind of attitude we need on Anaris. For what? The past few decades have been difficult for my people. I'm afraid we've become somewhat xenophobic. It's been a long time since we've welcomed members of other species onto our world. So how come you're not afraid of me? Some of us want to see changes on Anaris. We believe that we could benefit from interacting with people different from us. Changing people's minds won't be very easy. No, it won't. But maybe if we had someone like you to help. How? I have some friends at one of the top universities. If you would consent to be their guest for the duration of this mission, I'm certain they could find a way to put your talent to good use. And while you were there, well, maybe you could start changing people's minds for the better. I don't know. This could be a really great opportunity. I haven't really had the chance to be a real diplomat before. These people don't like outsiders, Trance. Well, that's just because they haven't gotten to know one in a long time. And you think you can change their minds? Don't you? It wouldn't surprise me at all, but... But you still don't want me to go. Even in the days of the Commonwealth, Anaris was considered a backwater world. Its people were unpredictable. After three centuries of struggle, I'm just not sure they can be trusted. So why don't you let me go and I'll find out? What? Nothing, nothing. It's, uh... It's just... you as a spy. They'll never know what hit them. Our facilities are state-of-the-art. Draw many of our world's top researchers. That's what Major Wendar said. What area of research are you in, Professor Logic? Oh, I'm what you might call a cross-disciplinarian. Does that mean you get to study all sorts of things? Well, in its simplest terms, yes. Suffice to say that meeting an off-worlder like you is the culmination of my life's work. Well, I'd be happy to help you however I can. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Here we are. I hope it's to your liking. It's perfect. Do you think there's any way I could get something to eat? <laughs> Professor Logic? Hello? Are you ill? No, just bored. Oh, and then, with your permission, I'd like to get started by asking a few questions. I thought I was supposed to be helping your people get used to strangers. <laughs> In a manner of speaking. Well, I, I'm no professor or anything like you, but I don't see how I can help them when I'm locked in this room. <laughs> the security measures. I forgot to mention them. Oh, forgive me. I, 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 they're purely for protection only. Whose protection? Mine? Well, of course. But changing my people's attitudes to outsiders is going to take some time. But we thought you'd be safer this way. I'm actually really good with new people, Professor, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> oh, but I do, don't you see? I mean, your condition is, is it's my responsibility. Frankly, there are certain factions, if they uh, discovered your presence... They wouldn't be very happy. Precisely. Now, the questions? I don't see what my childhood has to do with anything. Childhood is the key to everything, my dear. To understand you, we must understand where you come from. What if it's really hard to talk about? Well, then all the more reason that you must. All right. My parents weren't very nice. Nobody in my family was very nice. In fact, they were 
violent. If we deserved it. We? You, you, uh, you have siblings? Depends what you mean by that. And this, uh, this violence was acceptable on your world? On my world? They did very bad things to children who were disobedient. Very bad. Such as? Do you think I could get something to eat? Now? Yes, I'm feeling kind of weak. Like I might faint or something. Well, of course. Uh, I'll have my people prepare something for you right away. You look concerned. Well, I didn't realize your people had such uh, hearty food requirements. My people? Uh, well, someone with, well, if you'll forgive my saying so, such an attractive physique. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Professor. That's very sweet. Would you like some? Excuse me? Would you like some? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I mean, no, thank you. It, I don't eat when I'm working. It, it, it distracts me. Yes, me too. But sometimes I find a good distraction is, well, good. <laughs> so, where were we? You were uh, telling me about your world. Oh, which one? Well, the one you were born on. Oh, no, I wasn't born on any world. I was born in space. But I thought, oh, never mind. Um... Well, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the world you were raised on. Then. But there are so many. But you were, uh, you were telling me about, uh, we were talking about uh, your culture's uh, acceptance and cultivation of violence as a... You're all right. Chance? Yes. Just... Maybe you should sit. I think that's a good idea. I'm sorry, Professor. I just feel... How do you feel? I feel funny. I think I ate too much. Just relax a moment. <laughs> and we can resume our chat. How are you feeling? Stuck. An unfortunate necessity, I'm afraid. You drugged my food, right? My associates thought you might be more uh, forthcoming if you were able to relax. I didn't expect it to put you to sleep. Yeah, now that you mention it, I do feel pretty well rested. Thank you. Can you undo these thinkies now? I promise I will stay relaxed. There are questions that need answers, my dear. Until I am certain of getting those answers, you'll remain as you are. What do you need to know? To begin with, I want to know why when I scan you, I'm unable to detect anything remotely resembling life signs as we know them. Your machine is broken. Second, I want to know your true purpose aboard the Andromeda Ascendant and how the rest of the crew fits into your mission. That is actually two separate questions. And third, I want to know where you come from. All right, but I have already told you. You've told me nothing! Now, you're going to give me some answers. And everything you tell me is going to be the truth. I don't think I followed. Maybe you're not trying hard enough. Well, maybe you're not trying hard enough to make me understand. There are people outside that door who could uh, encourage you if you need it. You want me to be clear? Fine. We're not real. None of us. Not me. Not my parents. We're all just fake. 
fake people. But your readings? Unusual as they are, they certainly don't suggest any sort of uh, synthetic origin. Not to your science. But believe me, it's not like we just evolved or something. Someone designed you? Yes. <laughs> and I'm very ashamed of it. In fact, I've never told that to anyone before. I mean, surely your shipmates there. No. They just think I'm some wacky purple girl with a mysterious hidden past. I know they think that what I'm hiding from them is something really, really important or really, really dangerous. And that makes me feel special. But if they only really knew what my creator really had in mind. Cool. Tell me. Tell me what your creator designed you for. Sex. We're sex slaves. Designed to bring pleasure to the universe.